Gents, this is uh, Carl. Carl, what's your last name? Lisbon. Carl Lisbon. Try to surveyor. Yes. Come down to um, survey out a job down at Jeringong. And Carl, what I want to ask is, where do we start? So you've got your theodolite light up the top there. And then uh, you've had to work from a stake survey mark. So you're actually doing this on your own, aren't you? What we've got, yeah. What we've got here is marks that are placed within the subdivision. We actually find those marks to define the boundaries. Oh, yeah. We need a mark that relates us to height as well. So that's your state survey mark where you get a height off that from yep. the uh, from the skim site. Yep. And once we find those marks, we actually set it up on the computer so we can come out here as a one-man band and set out your boundaries and your footings. And okay, so you actually you mark the whole lot for them. That's easy. So you mark out the boundary. Which will show there's a couple of pegs, yellow pegs. That's that's, that's correct. And then you also mark. We mark some, the footings where so the you corners mark where of the, the footings wall. are. Yeah. So those pins there are the. Uh, that's just the outside of your wall. And if you have a look down there, you probably get a better shot of all that. Yeah, I'll, I'll go down and show the guys after. Yeah. So what I've done as well is I've given them RLs there. So yeah. That when they start their brick oh, work. So, oh, so you got low reduced levels on those corners. That's 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 correct. We okay. all relate to the same benchmark originally. So, okay, so really it's all just one man now. So once you set up your theodolite... It's probably 10% or 15% of companies that use the one man. Yeah, with the trim you set out. It's, uh, yeah, well, okay. Once, once you program it, once it's yeah, programmed in. Yeah, what it is is it shows you a diagram. It's like having a PDF yep. within your system here. So what we do is we just create points and corners and then we ask the... If we touch a point and it will tell you, like if I, you could probably get a bit of a video on this. Like, it would probably be hard to see that. But oh, yeah, once you touch point. a point, there's a point. What it will do, it will tell you to actually go and mark that point. Okay. So if you, you'll listen to the voice in a minute. So there's a corner you've pinned out. Once you get close. So there's a corner that's been pinned. You can see that nail yep. right there. Okay, brilliant. So once you get close, it actually tells you to go left or right or in or out. Oh, uh, okay. The point so you can hear her. Do that again. It tells you where to actually there mark the point. Well, once, once you've programmed that, it'll tell you where to mark the point. So. Okay. How much How much would surveyors be charging out per point? Because they usually charge per, per points, don't they? Is it 100 bucks or something as it used to be, or a couple hundred bucks? Yeah, it just depends. You'll have a basic price to mark four corners, and yeah. then per mark from there. Per so pin, yeah. a job like this, you'd probably charge anything up 900 to $1,000 yeah, to do that, yeah, because yeah. there's that, that many points that you've got to mark. They've got pools. That's and a job that's a bit more complicated like this, it'd be better yeah. not for the actual builder to set it out, but to get a specialised surveyor in. Well, it's, it's, it's saves. Number one, it's more accurate. Yeah. And number two, the bricklayer just comes out and starts. Yeah. So he's got RLs where he yeah. can start his lights, yeah. and then he's got all the points, so he just has to just, instead of spending three days, on something like this set out. You get it done in half a day that's, that's and it's right. spot on too. Yeah. I can see he's put some timber profiles up against the fence which, wow, that's probably not the most accurate but it'd be good enough just for the actual yeah, that's, that's, excavators. That's right, because when, when you put your footings, if you're within 50 mil, it only, the nail just has to fit on the corner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you see most of them, he's done a very good job on this. Oh, yeah, that's the good. guy that did the concreting and his finishes are quite... Good too, though, so, yeah, yeah, he's done well. Carl, mate, that's fantastic. Yep. Thanks for your time, mate. Yep. No worries at all. Good on you. Righto, guys, you can just see that this, uh, this site has just been completed in the Lake Port District Buildings uh, on Friday. And now this is Sunday. Sunday morning. You can see that the surveyor has just come through and he's just marked out each point. So he reckons this is about a thousand dollar job, but he says it's a lot more accurate. See, there's those pins there on each one. You can see that they haven't really set it out with profiles, but they've just got pegs, which is probably not ideal. 
but because they've set it out this way, it also gives it a reduced level. So you can see there, you can see there's a reduced level of 32.200 with offsets. It has offsets written on it at 500. And then I'll just take his up the top and show you the theodolite, how he set it up. And then that'll do. See you, Josh. Good to meet you. Thanks a lot, Carl. That's great. No worries, mate. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hold on. Yeah. Cheers for that. Hold on. Probably come and have a talk to the owner. Oh, yeah, See if I can take a couple of videos. Well, I might pop in and say good day. Thanks, bud. So you can see there's the boundary mark with the peg in there and the actual nail. So that's the actual boundary of the building. I'm just checking out this surveying and there was another peg here for the other front corner there. Yep. So you can see that there. So there's the site. And then just up ahead you can see the other light. Let me get out of it. Come across. Come across there. And there's his the other light, which is where he's working from. So that's all computer generated. Where's the state survey mark, Carl? Okay, come over here, sir. Watch, watch, don't touch that. Come over with me. G'day, mate. Right, I'm back again, guys. On the construction site, just for the uh, house, Jerengong. There's Carl over there, he's just finished. And here's the state survey mark. Okay, number 128080. Sorry guys, there's the state survey mark which is he's been working off. Alright, hopefully that helps with some of the set out required on the construction site. Good on you guys.